Thanks for checking out our video series, Community Connections. The COVID-19 public health emergency has posed challenges for communities across the globe, not the least of which is staying connected with the citizens that make our communities great. These are the people that you see in the grocery store, the coffee shop, or walking their dog along the Duke. The intention of this video series is to bridge that gap and bring us together despite our physical separation. I hope you enjoy the segment. I'm Chief Sean Dunn with the Williamsburg Police Department, and today I have with me uh, a special guest, Officer Andrea Holliday. How are you, Andrea? I'm doing great, Chief. How are you? I'm doing well, thanks. I appreciate you joining me today. Thanks for asking me. Yeah, during this crazy time, we are, we're trying to stay connected with the community as best we can. And uh, so I'd like to ask you a few questions just to just to, in general, how you're coping with this pandemic and how you're moving forward. So absolutely. Let's uh, do it. Well, let's start out with how has COVID-19 impacted you personally or professionally? OK, so, well, personally, I mean, um, many people may know I'm an empty nester, so I've missed having my kids under one roof. I am, you know, I love them, you know, and um want to hug them again so I can't wait for that but um, professionally you know um, you know March April May are really one of our big months it's spring everybody's starting to get out and get moving and what I do is community engagement so it's been tough because my calendar totally cleared you know once everything hit so um, that's been kind of tough so just trying to find other ways to connect with people yeah well that's great Andre and I know you're doing a great job adjusting to this change of landscape so hopefully it'll be behind us very soon yes sir what is different about your daily routine during the pandemic? So, you know, now rather than having those events on the calendar and just going and talking to groups or, you know, having events and that kind of thing, um, I've spent more time kind of brainstorming. You know, you and I have this thing coming up where we're going to, um, where you're going to start us out, where you're going to be reading to kids. We're going to do a reading initiative. So just trying to find other ways to engage with the community. So a lot of brainstorming, a lot of just, you know, trial and error, just figuring out ways to, to still engage with our community. Well, I really look forward to that. I, I, I can't wait, actually. So, um, well, what do you look forward to doing when the restrictions are, are finally lifted? So everybody knows that I love my canine for a day. So I can't wait to get back to Heritage Humane Society and start my my doggy field trips all over Williamsburg again. I, you know, I love meeting people and talking to people. I may never meet and talk to um, otherwise. So I, and I get to spend the whole day with a dog who doesn't love that so i can't wait to do that again i'm excited though. but we have awesome partners out there at heritage humane and i know they're gonna be looking forward to having you back so really that's great mm -hmm. what's one thing you wish you had known before the pandemic oh man okay so i've thought about this one too so i really wish i'd known to get that last haircut <laughs> and i really do wish that i'd known when i went to costco um to get that that jumbo thing of toilet paper while they had it so um i really wish i had known that so <laughs> i think there are a lot of us that feel the exact same way on so that's yeah. great <laughs> okay yeah. uh what have you found to be your favorite stay-at-home snack oh so okay um you know hugely high in calories okay but i love the um grape jelly and peanut butter uncrustables delicious you but can't, can't have more than one <laughs> you can't go wrong there right. fantastic great snack mm -hmm. all right so how are you spending time that you have at home so uh, again we like back to my dog so you know the kids are now out and about on their own so i am um, home with the dogs more so i get to love on them and they're loving on me so um we're all having a good time so you're spoiling them rotten basically absolutely <laughs> Okay, and I have to ask, do you prefer cornbread or biscuits? Okay, so again, I'm a good Southern girl. I love my bread. Can't have too much of it, but have to pick. I'm going to go with biscuits, but again, cannot be in a can. Has to be homemade. But I, I'm talking the flour, the buttermilk, you know, all, the, the whole nine. You know, I, again, I don't cook a whole lot. You know, people who know me um, know I love my takeout. So even before this, so, but um, I can do a biscuit. That I can do and not mess it up, so. <laughs> okay, that sounds good. Well, I'd love to have the chance to try some of them. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Uh, what about Williamsburg community are you most proud of? So I have watched our community just wherever there's been a need, whether um, be our small businesses, people getting takeout, or it be parents who um, are helping other parents online with their kids being home homeschooling and um, 
feeding those in need, helping out with our first responders, you know, our healthcare workers, wherever there's been a need, I have seen our community step up and fill that need. And um, I just, you know, it's been amazing. I, I work for an amazing city and um, I will tell anybody who wants to hear it, you know, that, that I do. I, I, I just love Williamsburg, so. I couldn't agree with you more. It really has been very rewarding seeing seeing things in action. So, uh, what's one thing that you want Williamsburg to know? You know that we're here for you, and that we're going to get through this together. You know, I um, and City Council said it. Um, you know, when they put their message out, they couldn't have said it better. Um, so I'm kind of biting on their words, but it, it's true. Um, you know, know that we love you, we miss you, and you know, police officers don't usually are usually known for being huggers. Um, but I have found, I thought I was an introvert, but I have found that I am really a hugger. I've wanted to hug so many people and air hugs aren't cutting it. So just know that when all this is over, I'm gonna be out there giving a lot of hugs. Okay, Andrea. Well, that sounds great. And I look forward to having the chance where we can get back out there and engage with the citizens just the way we would like to. So, well, I just wanna say thank you very much for joining me today. It, it really has been a pleasure talking with you and I sure appreciate everything. I hope that you continue to be safe as you as you do your thing out there. So really, thank you very much for all that you do. Thank you, Chief. Take care. Thanks for joining us for Community Connections and for doing your part to help slow the spread. I hope that you will continue to find ways to stay connected and be engaged. We're stronger together.